Did I wake you? No. Hi. Have you seen the paper? No, I was just sitting down. Have you got it? Yeah. Open the page A20. I'm in the paper. What do you do now? How are you? Page 20. You can't miss it. I'm okay. Well, then I can do with probably one less, maybe two less hours of Hades' time. Yeah. A week? Uh, yeah, a week, see. that's all. Oh. Not a day. So she can take longer Hello. lunches. <laughs> right. No, so, I mean, I wish wait, I could say more. No. But there is Roger, who could uh, probably... Uh, right. <laughs> Did you get it? No, I haven't got in. Did you see the paper? I'm in the staff meeting. Oh, well, just listen. Rare cancer seen in 41 homosexuals. Outbreak occurs among men in New York and California. Eight died inside two years. Second paragraph. The cause of the outbreak is unknown, and there is yet no evidence of contagion. But the doctors who contagion. have made the diagnosis, mostly in the New York City and the San Francisco Bay Area, are alerting other physicians who treat large numbers of homosexual men to the problem in an effort to help identify more cases and to reduce the delay in offering chemotherapy treatment. Oh, come on, please. The sudden appearance of the cancer Look, called carposis. I'm gonna have to hear the rest of this later. Oh. Okay, I'm sorry. I love you. I love you too. Have you heard this? Where are you? Outside. The spots generally do not itch or cause other symptoms, often can be mistaken for bruises, sometimes appear as lumps, can turn brown after a period of time. What's this? You've got a bruise on your neck. The cancer often causes swollen lymph glands and then kills by spreading throughout the body. Doctors investigating the outbreak believe that many cases have gone undetected because of the rarity of the condition and the difficulty even dermatologists may have in diagnosing it. Is that it? It goes on to, well, you can read it. Probably from using the poppers, I bet. Thank you, Willie. Really. I'm serious. Yes, I can see that you are. Most cases involve homosexual men who have had multiple and frequent sexual encounters with different partners, as many as 10 sexual encounters each night up to four times a week. Ooh. Many of the patients have also been treated for viral infections. Probably from exercising too much, if you want to know the truth. <laughs> Such as herpes, cyanide, si um, uh, yeah? And hepatitis B, as well as parasitic Wait, infections. Wait, what was that? How many of these guys have had other infections? That's it. Um, such as amoebia and giardia. Giardia. <laughs> many patients also reported that they have used drugs, such as amyl nitrate See? and LSD, to heighten sexual pleasure. Cancer is not believed to be contagious. What is this contagious? But this is like the CIA trying to scare us out of having sex. But conditions that might precipitate it, such as particular viruses or environmental factors, might account for an outbreak among the singer uncle. I want to thank you for this, Fuzz. It's been a nice way to wake up. Really. <laughs> <laughs> they think it's poppers. Great. You don't use that many poppers. Well, Lisa called. I thought maybe you'd want to find it. This is bullshit. I'm sorry. I hate the New York Times. thinks we're lovers. Hi! How you doing? <laughs> Pathetic.
You know what I mean? Uh-huh. And you scrimp and save so you can... So you can come out here for two weeks on the 16th of the share uh -huh. and see all the same people you see in New York. All of them depress the hell out of you. Uh -huh. And with what you make at the gym, you'd have to work 187 years to rent out here one week. Thanks. Come on, it's tea time. It's what I live for. Do you understand that? I went to your father. You what? I had to, Shelley. I'm sorry. Please don't be angry with me. Angry? I would do anything to help Tom. You would do anything except act like a gentleman. <laughs> Is that what matters to you? Yes. I'm sorry I laughed. I apologize. Nice. Very nice. Clip soda, please. And a blue dolphin? With a little hair in it, please? I'm gonna have to kill you, and it's not gonna be pretty. <laughs> Hi! Hi. Somebody has to do it. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers! find out his name? I want one thing and one thing only. For your face to shrivel up and fall off in the sea. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Alan. Willie. John Deacon. Everybody really calls me fuzzy, though. <coughs> excuse me, I'm looking up the wrong nostril. Yeah, excuse me. As opposed to the right one? <laughs> Sorry. Excuse me. Is he going to be OK? Not if I can help it. <laughs> <laughs> Do your <air> heart. <laughs> of course, straight people use pop. I mean, have you ever been to Studio 54? <laughs> Who is that with Willie? Fuzzy. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How'd it go? Well, you know. I got it. What? Yeah, he gave it to me. Gene just called five minutes ago. You're kidding me. Uh-uh. You got the part. Two-year contract. Two years. And a guarantee of two shows a week. 1,500 a show to start. But you know, it's just television. Well, entertainment law sounds more exciting than it is. 
Tell me about your friend John. Well, everybody thinks we're lovers, you know? Just because we hang out. But John's great. We work out together, go out. He's my best friend. How long is your share for? No, I'm just their guest for the weekend. One, one of the guys that own the house did. <laughs> Sean's a writer for TV, and David has a lot of money. Inherited money, I guess. He invests it. <laughs> you know, calls his broker six times a day and argues. When does John do? Sort of between jobs. It's so funny here. I like it. No, I do too. I just think, you know, we got gay restaurants now, and gay doctors, gay cancer. You see that? It's weird, huh? I've never been into poppers or drugs or really sleep around that much. Did you see the article? Let's not even talk about it. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. I am so proud of you. It is. No. That's not why John cracked up. That... He... It's because he knows I really like hairy men. Yeah? You got something, uh... Where? Here on your lip. Good night. Hey, come again. Good night. Hot day. There. Didn't really have to come all the way down. Oh, I'm glad you called. Come on. Where is he? Inside. <sighs> Since when did he get here? Yesterday? Last night. Guys, can you believe it? They said uh, one of the nurses says she's dumped it out of bed. 
Oh, I'm sure he's fine. I know. Have they told you anything more since you called? Mm -hmm. Don't worry. I'm not. I'm sure, I'm sure it's just bronchitis. You ever had that? Mm -hmm. You cough until you think your insides are coming up, and then you cough some more. They give you antibiotics. It goes away. Uh huh. Well, John. He wasn't really ever, I mean, he didn't sleep with that many guys, did he? Or take a ton of drugs? Oh, no, I don't think so. Fuzzy's in Washington. Until well, just tonight. Mm. Good. Mm. I'm sure he just didn't want to worry you. I mean, I've been calling him to see if he wanted to, uh, Come out to the house for Memorial Day. John. What did they say when they called you? Were you at work? They said, uh, hello, is this William Wolf? Uh -huh. We've been giving your name as a contact for John Deacon. Your friend has pneumonia. Oh, they did? Yeah, I told you that. Well, I thought you meant might be. We're waiting for a bed, and he has a high fever. How high? 105. Mr. Swanson? And how, I mean, how was he when you saw him? Fine. I mean, he's got a oxygen mask. Uh -huh. And they got him hooked up to a... What, respirator? No, a... a IV? I I don't know. You can go and see him if you want. Hmm. You want to come with me? I think they only let one in at a time. Why? Meanness, I guess. Feeling so great, huh? Jesus. What a drag, huh? Poor booby. Still feeling a little warm. Yeah, yeah well, they're waiting. I guess they're trying to get you bed, get you all fixed up and out of here. How's Sean? He's good. He's at the co-op board meeting. So what did the doctor say? Have you seen him? What does he say? I have pneumonia. No, I know, but they've, they've got you on antibiotics. Yeah, no. I'm sure that's what all of this is. I had pneumonia. Huh? Yeah. Felt like somebody lit a fire in my chest when I was 10 or something. Or five. I don't know. But which is the doctor? The Indian one? It is? Yeah. Good guess.
Paul. Elliot wants to see you before he goes to lunch. All right, I just have about 15 minutes left on this, okay? I'll be right in. Okay. What are you working on? I'm, I'm really behind. I'm sorry, Rochelle. Please. Fine. It's yes, so you always say. Look, I wasn't even thinking about that, I swear. Well, you haven't thought about much, have you? You know something, Mark? You seen this? Shh. You have a knack for behaving badly. Some might even say a talent for it. <laughs> You're gonna want to see this, believe me. What? A talent. Storyline for August? Shh. I like the sound of that. Well, you won't like the sound of what else I have to tell you. Oh? Why? Why, are they killing me off or something? <laughs> It's great, don't you? <clears throat> Come on. I think it'd be fun. Daytime soaks first. First butch gay person on TV. Oh, you know that's not true. What? That you're the first? Are you serious? You think you're not masculine? <sighs> they peg you into playing those parts. Oh. He's that guy who played the homo. So? I don't think he's right for this. He's a little light, don't you think? It's fine for somebody like, I mean, for Bill Hurt to play a fact. Everybody I hate knows that he's word. straight. A homosexual, excuse me. Karen hasn't had an offer since she did that film. I know. She hasn't even been offered a play. Well, it was a lousy movie. A slim chance that my medicine will do him any good. This is not just an old head. This is Prince Ahmed of ancient Egypt. And Sean got so plugged in about all of this shit. <sighs> you know, he found a spot on his leg about this big around. Turned out to be ringworm. What's that? I, mean, I don't know. You put cream on it, it goes away. But, oh, but the doctor did say he thought maybe all of this had something to do with overexposure to the sun because gays spend so much oh man i'm sorry excuse me i'm a friend of john deacon's and we were wondering if uh, we could find out something about his prognosis or... john deacon yeah i'm sorry i'll be right with you why don't you go on in and have a seat is the man with pneumonia that's right well we're very concerned about your friend mm -hmm. he's very very sick right now we don't know exactly what's wrong with him yet, but he does definitely have pneumonia in both lungs. He does? Oh. His blood gases, or the level of oxygen in his blood, is very low. We're waiting for a bed to open up in the ICU. For the next few hours, we'll just have to wait and see. If he continues to deteriorate, he may require being put on a mechanical ventilator. Mm -hmm. And we may also have to take a biopsy but, of his lung tissue. But does this have anything... I mean, is he having any trouble with his immune system or anything? It's a possibility, yes. But we'll know more in a couple of hours, and I always think it's best to take this sort of thing one bit at a time. Right. Well, okay. Thanks. That's... Thank you. I'm sorry I can't be more. No, that's great. She would have said if they were sure. Maybe he goes to the baths all the time and doesn't tell anybody. I don't think they know anything. I certainly don't think everybody's going to die who gets it. Do you? Dream's just about to come true Life's 
John's in the hospital. I've been there all day. Why is he in the hospital? He has something wrong with his immune system. How is Washington? Oh, Christ. Are you sure? Are they sure? No. But... Probably. Hi. Right. You talk to the doctors. I just can't believe the way they run this place. Oh, I'm sorry. We don't have blankets here in the emergency room. Wait. Good idea. 28 hours he waited for a bed. They're more worried about his fucking insurance, which of course he doesn't have. Then they don't even tell him what they've told me and David. Did he call David or did Don't you? be worried. I'm sure it's not that. Not what? He says. It's pneumonia. He's on a respirator. Don't regular people get pneumonia? He didn't even fucking call me. He's been sick for weeks from the way he looks. David's been calling him. Calm down. He doesn't pick up the phone. Did you uh, get your contracts all settled? I'm so sorry. It's just not fucking fair. It's not fair! See that? My life as it has been lived with dignity. <laughs> yes, yes, no. yes, he does. No, 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 no. Oh my no, god. No, 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 that, no, no. Don't you think that's brilliant? No. I do. Well, that's why it's so popular. Reagan? No, E.T. Well, it could be. No, why everybody loves Reagan. He looks like E.T. You've spoiled everything. Who? Listen to this. E.T. spoiled everything? This is a great political analysis. Ronald Reagan. Well, Reagan spoiled E.T. Look at this. This is unreal. And that's why we love him so. We think he's an alien. No, oh, does that mean you can't go see him now for the 55th time? Really? 55? Well, identifies with him. I do. You know, something about the uh... <laughs> Why don't you put something like that on your show? An alien? Oh, wouldn't that be wonderful? Just bring in a script. Have one show up in Grover's Corners? Uh -huh. Or whatever it's well, called? Central Falls. I'm sorry. I should know that. Why? Central Falls? Oh, because I used to love soaps. That's true. I can vouch for it. Lisa used to cut classes in seventh grade just to watch General Hospital. We lived across the street from the school. Oh, it's great. Anytime you just wanted to cut classes and take a break. Have a gin and tonic? My mother adopted you. Really? She didn't quite know what she was getting, but... But no, it's true. I knew every plot line to every soak for six years running. That's how I know all about life. Well... I loved soaps. Still, I don't expect everybody to follow all the unhappy lives of all the denizens of Central Falls just because I have to. Oh, I wish I could. Who is that? I don't know why, but... I never get to watch. Well, you know. Start, please! A lot of people's work lives get in the way of their TV viewing. Uh-huh. It's a real problem. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's the first person. I have to say, though, that's the first person I've seen in a long time. Who? 
Or heard about. That guy. Guy with KS just walked by. This looks great, David. I think it's, you know, I mean, doesn't it seem that way? Like it's going away? Like it's run its course or it's starting to. Do you read the newspapers? Ever? No, I mean gay people. Obviously, a lot of people are still getting it. Maybe. I've, one thing I've noticed, it seems like a lot of people who are getting sick, they, they seem like a particular mindset or something. Self-destructive. You know, a lot of drugs, a lot of sex. I love putting down drugs or sex, <laughs> which plays such an integral part in my life. But I just don't think you can abuse a body for that long without paying some price. It's a virus. I know it's a virus, but so was a black plague, and not everybody got that. Not everybody was bitten by fleas. No, it's not just that. It's wanting to live. Loving yourself, you know? Close as a blade. Here we go. Oh, your money back. Hurry up, everybody. The first screen shaves it incredibly close. The second even closer. The Remington microscreen shaves as close as a blade, or I'll give you your money back. Tommy? Yes? I have, um... What? I have something to ask you. I feel a little uncomfortable about it. What? I heard a rumor. I'm sure it's just... it's just that. <laughs> well, tell me, for God's sake. Oh, they can say God's sake now? It's about when you were in school. An undergraduate. About Mark? Yes. Who were you talking to? Don't tell me. Mark, maybe? And what was the big dish? Dish? Sound a little fey? The word? Whoa. I just came from his office. I had to talk to him about the trial. I never expected... I just wasn't prepared to hear those words. And the idea of you two together. Stop America it. goes crazy. I drove straight home. Please, don't be angry with me. It doesn't change anything. But I have to know the truth. If only... Are you expecting someone? Isn't that appalling? It's not appalling. <laughs> you know, if it hadn't been for Dynasty, we, we wouldn't, wouldn't be, be doing, doing it at all. It's true. As soon as it becomes unpopular and unchic again, it'll turn out the characters were lying, and the kiss will be revealed to have been a dream sequence. But isn't it important for people to see it anyway? Not necessarily. It doesn't stop them from hating you. Yeah, didn't you ever hear that? I mean, the whole way they've dragged the story out for yeah. a year. I mean, I've heard of foreplay. Uh-huh. And the whole idea of giving me all the queer scenes is demeaning. Well, why? Don't they... Because. Don't they give films about blacks to black writers? I never said that. Oh, he's just saying that. No. Yes. The point, to my way of thinking anyway, of being an artist is to be able to imagine something. If I can't write a convincing old lady or a Russian or a black character, then I stink. Well, you're going to miss your own dialogue, so shut up. Mark. I've got to talk to you. I know him, the actor. I'm sorry. Mark. Come on in. I'll just be running along. No, Elaine. No, please, you two go right on ahead. Please, we have to talk this out. I wouldn't think of interfering. You're not interfering. You're my fiance. Look, everyone, I'm sorry for whatever I've done. I never meant any harm to either. He lives no. in my building. I wish you next both the best of luck and really? all the happiness. Oh. Elaine. Let go of me. I'll leave you two in your little love nest. <laughs> God. She made that up. I would never write love nest. Hi. Fuck. I'm sorry. How are you, Mark? Been better? Yeah. 
live in your building. Shh. I've missed you so much. It's good to see you. It's been a long time. Let me give you a hug, at least. At least. I asked. Yes, I know. I'm sure. Well. You asked? I'm afraid I've spoken out of turn. He lives with another guy, and they both have great bodies. You tell me. Could you look at this? What? Have I always had this? Where? This mole? Yes, you have. Are you sure? I'm positive. I never even noticed it before. When I have noticed it? I'm so tired all the time. Look, you don't have AIDS. I've had everything you're not supposed to have, you know? I've had herpes, I've had amoebas. <coughs> Just feeling guilty because you didn't go to the hospital when John was dying. If you say that one more time, I swear I'm gonna beat your fucking face in. I didn't know John was dying. I'm sorry. I feel that something's happening in my body. Now, I'm not talking about John. I'm talking about me. I feel like something is stalking me. I know you think I'm being melodramatic. Did you sleep with someone else? No. Well, then you can't have AIDS. Because I haven't touched another man since we were in Key West. 1980. Unless you can pick it up on a toilet seat. You don't know how long it's going to take to germinate. Well, it's not going to take four years. Incubate? Incubate. Did you sleep with John? No. I did not sleep with him. And then there's nothing to worry about. My side of the bed was soaking this morning. Well, so was mine, because it's summer. In the summer, it is hot. Fine. And we don't have air conditioning. <sighs> what? I'm, I'm a not a child. I know Stop talking to me child. like I'm a child. I'm sorry you're upset. I love you. No, you don't. Well, that's okay. What is Mount Rushmore? Right. Uh, Good night, everybody. Good night. Sleep tight. Bye, Willie. Good night. Okay. Okay. Ten letter words for 600. What? Man, what is 
Hi. Where are you? At the hospital. What happened? Well, I have a two centimeter lesion on the left lobe of my brain, so it's... I'm okay. They're not gonna do the biopsy? No, they're not. Uh, um, unless I don't respond to the medicine for the toxo. I'm really okay. And it's good to know why I've been throwing up all this time. Um... I don't think I can get away until we finish shooting this stupid commercial. I know. I'm really fine. There isn't anything we can't handle. Hi, David. <laughs> what did you bring me? Himself? I'm being inundated with alfalfa tabs. Oh, wow. And I've written on the label what he said so you can remember. Great. How many and how often? Good. So. Oh. This is lecithin, which is also supposed to be good for the immune system. Can I use the bathroom? Sure. So it's right there. Twice a day, it says. Man. Oh, Tihibu. That's flexible, I think. Oh, man. And the sorbitol palmitate, which does something to activate the vitamin C. I don't remember what. Only one of those, though, because it's a chemical. And again, you know, when you get out, I really think you should see this guy yourself. Uh-huh. And have him check all these levels on you personally. I mean, I told him about you, and he tested me sort of like a proxy, you know. What do you mean? Well, he does this thing where he holds the substance up to me. And he asks my body if your body needs this and how much. It's much more scientific than it sounds. Uh huh. No, it really is. <laughs>
and she's like... I mean, she had cancer herself. Oh, she did? Yeah, she talks about it all through the book and on the tapes. I mean, I don't know, you can take it or leave it, but I think the whole idea that disease is a kind of disease with oneself is amazing. I mean, when do you get sick? When you're tired or upset about something. And everybody believes you can make yourself sick. Right. But can you make yourself well? Of course you can. There you go. <laughs> there you go. That a boy? Yeah, no, it's, it's really important to reaffirm. It really is. Yeah. <laughs> she has all these exercises where you look at yourself in the mirror and you say, I love my ears, I love my nose, I love myself. Because if we think we're bad, for being gay uh -huh. or not being a good son. Right. Then we criticize ourselves. And our whole big thrust is that we don't criticize ourselves. It makes a huge difference in the way we feel. Oh, great. I can't wait. <laughs> it really, I bet it does, though, you know? I mean, if I tell myself something's going to happen, I'm going to drop something or uh, fail at something. You do. Right. And if I tell myself I'm going to succeed. You do. <laughs> so, are you guys going out to the house at all this fall? Probably a couple more times. Because we're thinking of moving Sean's computer out there so he can work. Oh, great. You know, until it gets too cold. Oh, what a great place to work. That's... Oh, especially in the fall. That's my favorite time. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> and we told the network he has an ulcer. We're giving him a month's leave. Oh, terrific. <laughs> well, I should probably get back to work. Back to the body jail. <laughs> it's great to see you. You look great. Thank you, darling. Are you going to stay? Uh, a little bit. Sure, stay. Okay. So, uh, good luck with all your tests. Well, I love my toes. <laughs> and I love my nose. Right. Mm -hmm. Say hi to Fuzzy for us. I will. Bye. Bye. Thank you. It's okay to cry. It's all right. our hearts, our bodies, our minds, our consciousness, our very being, and it radiates out from us in all directions and returns to us multiply. The more love we use and give, the more we have to give. The supply is endless. The use of love I can't do both things at once. It is an expression right. of our inner joy. We love ourselves. I mean, do you think in the outline here they mean that Elaine is still jealous about Mark and Tommy? You know? Maybe. Yeah, I do. Hmm. Hello. Hi. Hi. 
What did the doctor say? Uh, well, you have to take these one at a time, all right? Sorry. Ah, uh, that's OK. Well, he thought, um, are you nauseous? Does your tummy feel upset? It does? All right, just try taking one to start, OK? Yeah, we're going to try stopping the sulfa drugs for a week to see if that'll raise his white blood count, which is a risk because he might have another seizure. Uh huh. But he can't take this new drug for the CMV unless his blood count is above 750. And if he doesn't take it, he'll probably go blind. Oh. But if he has another seizure, it may permanently damage his nervous system. So take your pick. God. No. It's worth it if it can save the eye. So keep your fingers crossed. Listen, can I call you later this afternoon? Sure. That may be the studio. OK. Bye. Right. Bye-bye. Hello? Uh, Sean, please. Just a second. It's Martin, all right? Just wait for me. Just say I have to think about it if you don't know, all right? I have to think about it. Sean? Yes? It's Marty. How are you doing? How are you doing? Oh, I'm fine. But listen, um, about these last two scripts you sent in, there's a kind of a funny thing going on in them. I mean, they're, they're getting a little surreal, you know what I mean? You still there? Uh-huh. Like this stuff with uh, Elaine waffling now on the adoption. I know the outline mentions it, but it just seems, well, it's a little severe the way you got it. You think you could soften it? I have to think about it. No. What do you no. Mean? What do you mean you have to think about it? Say yes, you'll soften it. Yes, I have to think about it. No. No, I have to. I don't understand why you have to think about it. You'll soften it. Sean? I'll soften it. Well, I mean, do you disagree? Uh-huh. No. You do? No. Are you sure? Yes. OK. I mean, you can, you know, if you, if you have another thought. All right? I have to think about it. What do you mean? I mean, I don't think I can get insurance for him on the picture. Because? Because he's sick. What do you mean he's sick, Walter? I mean he has AIDS. You know what I mean? How do you know he has a? I've never heard that, and he's my client. He was fired from the soap. Now, you see, this is how rumors get started. He was not fired from the soap because I got him out of his contract. All right. And I should know. Where the hell did you hear that? Somebody else's agent, right? No, I don't. No. Suppose he did. Suppose he had AIDS. Is he supposed to stop acting? No, I don't. Look. I know I can't get a bond on this picture if one of the actors has AIDS. I didn't make the rules. Fuck you. You know? I'm sure they'll let you go home as soon as you can. No one wants to see you stay here any longer than necessary. Believe me. Wow. Let this happen to me again. What? Let this happen to me again. Hello, Paul. Hi. How you doing? You feeling OK? This is Dr. Frommer, another of the neurologists. Just nod if you hear me, Paul. I hear you fine. OK, good. We're going to ask you a few questions, check a few things, 
See how you're doing after your seizure yesterday. Do you want to sit up? Can you tell me how many fingers I'm holding up in the air? Two. Two. Two fingers and thumb. Right. What's six plus seven? Six plus... Thirteen. All right. Who's the President of the United States? Ronald Reagan. Who's the Vice President? Nancy Reagan. Tell me if you can feel this, Paul. Hi. volunteering some of your time to gay men's health crisis oh god no if i never hear the word aids again as long as i live it'll be too soon so what's going on with you and shane he's nice it's working out i'm in love you know what's going on with you and willie that's wonderful. Nothing. Nothing at all. But it feels like. You're being careful, aren't you? Yeah, yes, like... yes, mother. Now they found the virus is in the saliva, so I suppose we can't even kiss anymore. You think it's the worst thing that'll happen in our lives, or do you think Khomeini will take over and we'll all be made slaves? Don't get sick, okay? They've changed their mind about the part for some reason. They're going to use somebody else. They've decided to go another way, they said. I don't know why they didn't call your agent instead of me. I guess just because they had me on the phone, I don't know. I'm sorry. What about the apartment? I still have a call into the ACLU. You're not going to get thrown out on the street, I promise. I know. All right. And I'm sorry about the movie. I'll do it if nobody else will. Ron, for God's sake, oh, wait. Oh, God damn it. I can't. Honey, that's in there for a uh, reason. Come on. Nurse. Somebody, could we have somebody in here? What's wrong? Making, I gotta get off. The guy in the next bed just mess. pulled out his ID. Wait. Wait, hello? We could okay. use some assistance here. Okay. Honey, somebody's gotta take the bull by the horn. <laughs> 
I'm going home, you understand? No. There's blood all over here. Now do you understand? Leave him alone. I'm sorry. I'm just afraid all the time. What do you think happens when we die? We get to have sex again. to sleep. Were you warm enough? <gasps> no? Want another blanket tonight? It's not. What isn't it? Sorry, was I too rough? It's not. Tell me what it's not. Nick. I'm listening. Make up. Tell me what you want me to make. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Okay, and uh, some more of the big trash bags with the yellow ties. And whatever you want for lunch. Okay. And you can take your time. I've got stuff I want to do. Okay. So I'll be fine by myself for a while. I'd prefer it, actually. Let's go. Let's go. 
Let's go. It's okay. You can go. Let go, my baby. It's all right. Don't be afraid. I'm here. One little more. You let go of everything. You don't hold on. Marvin. It's all okay now. Let go. Just relax. Let everything go. Just let go. Let go. And I know. I know you're tired. Just let go. I got you now. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Yeah, just let go of everything. It's all a worry. Let go. All the pain. Just let it all go. <laughs> Just let go. There you go. Hello. Hi. Hi. What's wrong? Listen, honey, Sean's just died. Oh, God. I just stopped by and David's fine. Uh huh. I just stopped in to see if they needed anything, and I guess it was less than an hour ago. The cops are here now, you know, to pull out the death certificate. Uh huh. I tried fuzz, but. I'll call him. I thought you'd want to come over. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I love you. I love you too. You don't have to. <laughs> Are you still warm? Yeah, sure.
know where Maria is. I need her to pull the medical file. I got a in my. Uh... Gay men's health crisis. This is Bill. How may I assist you? Hi, Bill. I'm calling for a friend whose lover just died. I thought you might know if there were any particular funeral homes that have a history of dealing with people with AIDS. Yeah, there are. There are. They want you to pick something out for him to be cremated in. That's all. I don't care what they burn up. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Do you want me to pick something out? Would you? I'll help you. They say what time they'd be here? A little while. He's gone a long time, you know. No, no, he wasn't. Not really. You want something to drink? No. I do. Fuck it. No. I... It's okay. Relax. I'm fine. All these gorgeous sweaters. They say, if we said we knew him, and we know that's the way he wanted to be remembered. Oh, it needs a hat. <laughs> <laughs> a big bee lily thing. <laughs> Should we? <laughs> Keep wondering if he's paying attention. That was in like 1969, I think. His first play. Mm. Oh, wow. And he was also on the council of the Dramatist Guild from 1973 to something like 76, 77. They can do it. They won't. Well, I'm sure his agent can send over a picture if they want that. Okay. And you want it to say that Sean is survived by his longtime companion, David Ellers? Why don't they say love this one? He didn't used to say anything. He didn't used to say gay. All right. I'm going to go call. Some people don't like lover, do they? Can't tell you how much I'm going to miss having Henry to clean up after the two of us. It's just so fucking not strange. What do you mean? It's just not strange. After Sean had died, and before David got sick himself, I remember David saying he wanted his own memorial whenever to be real simple, or Sean would never forgive him for outdoing his. <laughs> and that, I think, more than anything, epitomizes who David was. Someone mm, unlike anyone else. Uh. 
Uh, I'm Willie Wolf. <coughs> Everybody said how uh, funny David was. And, uh, but uh, he also did amazing things for other people uh, when they needed him to. He never made a big deal about being filthy rich and. <laughs> Uh, the most remarkable thing I ever saw anybody do was the way he took care of Sean and uh, gave him what he wanted, which was, you know, to die at home, which wasn't easy for David. And uh, the doctors advised him against it f for his sake. David. taught me that life is only what you put into it. Uh, what you give away, I mean of yourself, not your money, uh, because he wasn't that generous when it came to picking up the tab. <laughs> I met David almost uh, nine years ago. He, he was one of the first people I met when I moved to the city. And he immediately put the moves on me, you know. <laughs> and the thing I remember most was uh, the way when I met Fuzzy, uh, Alan, he just took him into the family. And that was that. There was no discussion. Fuzzy uh, became an immediate friend. And I thought that was really classy. He was uh, really classy. <laughs> you had some. Okay. David went home. <laughs> Do you want to tell this? Thing? David went home to Bryn Mawr for his sister's wedding. She was there today. I know. Didn't they look alike? And everybody was out at the rehearsal dinner, and David was alone in the house. So he went upstairs to see his old bedroom. And hanging on the back of the door is the wedding dress. Oh, God, Sam, come. You have to hear this. And, you know, apparently he took a look at it, and he thought, oh, what the hell? What the hell? Nobody's going to see. This is David at his sister's wedding. And he put it on. The wedding dress. I never heard this. And is standing out in the hall, admiring himself in it, you know, in the mirror. And he backs up to get a better look, kicks the train, which somehow caught his foot. He fell down the entire flight of stairs, backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Knocked out cold. When the family comes home from the rehearsal, he's still out. Three broken ribs. They have to cut him out of the dress with scissors. <laughs> <laughs> the ambulance drivers are there, the paramedics. The dress, of course, is ruined. The sister is living. <laughs> there you go. Hi. What's up? Did somebody talk to you about this? What? His name is... I 
just had it. Franklin Washington. He's an IV drug user. No. He's still in Cabrini with PCP. He can't get a bed for him at Bailey House. He's going to be out on the street. I guess he had a lease, or uh, his girlfriend did. He doesn't have a buddy aside. your laundry. Thanks. Oh, and uh, Fuzzy said he spoke to Medicaid for you, and they'll uh, get you um, a replacement card. But you can call yourself anytime, okay? Okay. You have the number? Okay. Getting any exercise? Still feeling uh, wobbly? Good. You look better. Well, so, I'm just on lunch. So. Could you straighten up a little in the kitchen? Sure. You want to help me? Your leg's bothering you now? You should get up. Forget it, Willie. Uh, I'm real confused, Alberto. Your doctor tells me you're well enough to start doing things, but you won't lift a finger. There are people who can't... I don't think I'll be needing you anymore, Willie. Thank you. You can just leave the keys. You're fired, you got it? I'm a volunteer. I don't get paid. You don't fire me. You walk pretty well for somebody who won't get out of bed. Come on, I want my keys. Now, I think you're really, really pissed off, and I don't blame you. But if you allow yourself to just waste away, I... I feel... I'm sorry. No, I'm not one of your friends or your family. But, uh... Howard Palin. I, well, I used to be one of those other people. <laughs> for those of you, for those of you who admit to watching daytime TV. I'm an actor, and I have AIDS. A lot of the performers you'll see tonight have AIDS. A lot don't. But we're all committed to one thing. To fighting this disease, obviously, but to the idea that people with AIDS are not victims. And I'm delighted to be your host for the evening. Welcome to Living with AIDS. Yeah. And please welcome the Finger Lakes Trio who hail from upstate New York. They would like to tell you about a place where anyone can go if they're a new boy in town. <laughs> Perhaps you'll recognize the tune. Thank you. Stay at the YMCA. <laughs> 
He's afraid his parents will see him on the news. I am not. Besides, they wouldn't recognize me without my beard anyway. I would love to get arrested. We're going to sit down in front of the health department and, I guess, wait and see if the mayor shows up. I think I'll throw rotten eggs at him. <laughs> wouldn't that be sort of redundant? The women were strip searched the last time. And they blocked the Brooklyn Bridge? I heard. Michael and Bob complained they weren't strip searched wherever they got taken. <laughs> <laughs> it was a different precinct, I guess. <laughs> I'd like to see him try. With me? Let him. I'm ready. You gonna go Monday? Yep. Yard? Are you? Uh-huh. Oh, great. It'll be fun. <laughs> Seems inconceivable, doesn't it? Going? But there was ever a time before all this. And we didn't wake up every day wondering who's sick now, who else is gone. Do you ever wonder if they ever do find a cure? People would go back to sleeping around? Oh, who cares, you know? It's just a question, I know. I know, but... I'm sorry, I just think that other people do don't sleep around or what they do, it's just not the point. I'm sick of hearing people pontificate about it. Except us. Except us, exactly. <laughs> I just want to be there. If they ever do find a cure. Can you imagine what it would be like? Like the end of World War II. All dark and 